there is systemic issues out there that have continued to put uh, minorities in, in a place that, uh, you know, we, we don't deserve. We have people that have been in our community who've been spit on and yelled at, who've been punched in the face and shoved down. At the height now, right, there's a rise across the globe of anti-Asian sentiment, rhetoric, violence, physical violence, right? They see Asians all into that one category, many of them, right? Kids kept turning their heads back as and laughing at me, so I felt bullied. Right, which is weird, it's never have happened. There was a lot of things that's going on. Bakit to nangyayari? Um, bakit inaalaw ito ni God? This will end sooner than later. We remember their sacrifice by continuing the fight for our rights. So there's a reason for this. Everybody tries to be proactive now. Entertainment is like a really, really powerful tool. I think it's just super important because it's not represented right now. Why not? It's human nature to be resilient and adaptable. So use that. Just our culture and our upbringing gives us so much power. How we're helpful, how we're caring and historically what we've done for America. You know, it's not a secret that uh, many Filipinos are in the front lines. Filipinos are the backbone of the U.S. healthcare system. It's just a matter of like being ready to face the battle every day, every single day. We've gone through so many challenges and yet we're still here standing. As in one clap, one fall, echoed a thousand bridges, echoed a thousand we should be supporting our kababayan, supporting each other. I text my friends in Facebook, kamusta, email them, talk to them. As time goes on, we're getting more representation on screen. What we want to say is artists, but also kind of highlight our roots. Things can change at any moment, um, but, you know, just trying to live in the moment. We would not be here without you. We are stronger together. Mga Kapuso, October is Filipino American History Month.